Hello folks, I'm Dean with Dean's Woodworking. Welcome to the shop. Y'all come on in and make yourself comfortable. Tonight we're going to turn a coffee scoop. Well, a scoop. You can scoop coffee with it if you'd like. We've got a piece of maple here on the lathe, seven inches by one and a half square. We're gonna go ahead and get started making it round and we're gonna turn this thing into a coffee scoop. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take some measurements here. So I'm going to come off the end. Oh, let's say it. Let's say three eighths. Give us plenty of room. And then I want to come back. Oh, about an inch and a quarter. Because we may take a little bit more off of that. This portion here is going to be our scoop. And so what we'll do is we'll start out. And we'll just go ahead and do a peeling cut and get that down pretty good. Do the same thing on this side. So as you can see, what we're doing is just making a great old big bead. Or what some folks might return call a sphere. And this down here, we're just going to work it down. So we've established our end there. And at this point, we're gonna start working this back down. And you'll notice as we go forward now, we'll slow down our cut and be a little bit more deliberate with our cut. And as we start to work that wood down, we'll be getting a little vibration. Again, you notice that handle's still very large for the size scoop that we've got. So you can probably notice the difference between my cuts now and when we first started as, as we get closer to a finished uh, piece. I'm going to slow down and the whole thing is to get a clean cut that we're not getting a lot of vibration on. I'm going to come right in here. I'm 
And at that point, I'm going to slip over here and grab a 3-8 spindle dove. Because we want to be able to bring this down. There we go. So as we look at this, you can always keep working it, guys. The problem is to know when to stop working it. We're going to come in and we're going to sand this back. I'm going to pull this back just a little bit. So we have just about a quarter of an inch there or less. Okay, looking pretty nice. We're going to go ahead and sand this up. Folks, while I'm sanding, if you don't mind, go down and hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And most of all, ring that notification bell. That way you get notified anytime I upload a new video, okay? Thanks for watching. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, so we got it sanded down, we got it parted off, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sand this little nib down here so we can fit it in a jam chuck, and I'll be right back, okay? When I'm sanding that, I use, this is a 120 grit on the power sander, and I just hit it and slightly move that around just a little bit. Again... Rotate it. I'm not putting a great deal of pressure on it. I'm letting the sandpaper do the work, not trying to force it. And so that is, uh, that's sanded. It's back smooth. Normally what I will do on something that I want to be, you know, really kind of a polished in is I will take and just put the sandpaper in my hand and just kind of do a figure eight, the softness of your hand will let it conform to the uh, end of that. And you can polish it out quicker than you think. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and make a jam chuck and we'll be right back, okay? Okay, folks, what we're going to do, I've got a little carbide tool here that I think might work for this small hollowing. We'll see. It probably needs a new tip on it, actually. We'll see if we can't make it work for this. Okay, the whole idea here is to make that fit in there. So since we are awfully close there, we're going to go ahead and make a, here let me bring it up here so that I can make a couple of marks here. Now why are we doing that? Because we've got this handle here and we want to be able to 
pull that handle back. It looks like I've got real close to a perfect fit there. At least that's the appearance going at this point. So one of the things and a lesson before you go any further with this, get a drill bit and let's drill all the way through this. Now why would we do that? You can get a vacuum of sorts or maybe just a too tight fit and all of a sudden you've got your piece hollowed out. Man, you can't get it out. If you have a hole drilled all the way through that, you can come in and knock it out. This hole's going to go all the way through there. Yeah, I think we're going to be real close. We may have to take just a tad off of that. And let's see here. We're going to take just a little bit more out of that. When I say little bit, it has to be a little bit. Remember, we want this to be a snug fit. just a little bit more. Guys, when you're doing this, sneak up on it. You'll notice this is a little longer than it's needed to be. Uh, that comes from having uh, made it too big a couple of times and had to had to make a new one, push it back a little further. Okay, so very important, make sure that you've got clearance. If anything touches this, it's coming off. Okay, folks, so we've got it mounted. We've got it free turning. So we're gonna go ahead and hollow this out and make our scoop. You wanna make sure your hand stays on this side of the tool rest and you absolutely do not want to move the tool rest So we'll, we started with that, and that, that bit's just a little bit, uh, well, let's just say that bit needs help. Okay, so that was using that little carbide, and, and you know, nothing against carbide. That, that one just, it should have been replaced a long time ago. And I don't, I just don't use carbide that much. So I'm probably not the best example to follow when it comes to uh, changing them out at a, when they should be. So we've got a tiny little... Uh, gouge here. And what we're doing is we're hollowing out our scoop at this point. Let's just take a look at it, see where we're at. So we're going to bring this down just a little bit more. Take another look at it. That's looking good. And we're gonna go back to the carbide for that inside just a little bit. I'm going to call that good. I would certainly hate to go through the bottom of it. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing out of here. And then we can hand sand it. 
Anybody kind of see what I was talking about, why I made the hole in there? Now sometimes, sometimes you can sit there and bang on it and pull it out just like that. Okay folks, so we made a scoop. A lot of fun to make these little things. I haven't made one in ages and saw a demo a couple of weeks ago and thought, you know, it's time to make some more of those. So I'll get some made and they'll be nice on the table in November at the uh, craft show and I guarantee you I won't bring any of these home. Let me give you a close up of this. Okay. So as you can see, I've got this little bit right here. We'll sand that down with the uh, power sander. And it's ready for finish other than that. Oh, we might do a little bit of sanding. I got just a little bit of a nib left in that bottom there. I'm not sure you guys can see that or not, but it is there. Folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and happy turning.